James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I also like to greet people by putting my hand on their cheek and saying that I'm real. It gets their attention. Welcome back to Silent Hill. This is Silent Hill 2. A game that came out for the PS2 two and around two and a half years, I think, after the first game. You remember what the first game looked like, right? It, would, it looked very good for the PS1, um, but this was an immense jump in how it looked and just what they were able to do with the the mood and the environment and all that fog. Let's go back to the title screen. All right, what are we what version are we doing right now? That's what we should talk about to begin with cuz you have the you have the original version of Silent Hill 2 for the PS2 and the original Xbox. 
A few years ago, uh, there was an HD collection of Silent Hill 2 and 3 that was released for the PS3 and 360, but um, if you were to bring that version up to many Silent Hill fans, they would probably start hitting you with their hands because they do not like it. It was not a good conversion for various reasons. Uh, and I'm sure you can find many YouTube videos about the issues with the HD collection. That's not what we're playing here. What we're playing is what's referred to as Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition. I put the URL at the bottom there. Basically what this is, is the PC version. Uh, it's the original PC release, but with a lot of mods. Like a lot of mods. The idea basically was if Konami is not going to release a good HD version of the game... Then, modders would do it themselves for the PC version. If you go to this website, you can find a YouTube video that states the differences between this and uh, the original versions of Silent Hill 2. But this is the one we're playing, and uh, it works very well as a widescreen HD version of the game for your PC. So, we're looking at the options here. Um, not too much to look at with the options here. There's only one thing I did want to point out, is that this version of the game does let you turn the noise effect off. I Now, I, if I was playing it on my own, I would like to have it on. I do like the noise effect in these games, but that works very poorly for streaming and recording. So noise effect is going to be off. Now... What kind of game is Silent Hill 2? Well, it plays very much like the first game, um, but it was kind of a surprise when it came out because the story doesn't have too much to do with the first game. You might remember that the first game had a story told in a very vague, obtuse way. When this game came out, some people were expecting, oh, we're going to find out more answers to what happened in that first game. No. No, none of that. We're doing a... Very, we're just doing different characters, different story, same town, different part of the town. But this is not going to refer to the first game, really. This is something that's very different. So if you think about like an anthology collection uh, of horror stories, this is same situation, same town, different characters. Not, not a whole lot to do with Harry Mason's adventure in finding his daughter. No, this is James Sunderland's adventure in finding his wife. There's kind of a thing in Silent Hill where you have to find people that went lost. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Let us start a new game. Okay, there are two scenarios. Letter from Silent Heaven is the actual game. Uh, and in the original PS2 release, that was the only scenario. Um, when the Xbox version was released, I believe, this was added, Born from a Wish, which is a short, like, 30-minute scenario featuring another character in the game that you play as. And uh, we'll do that after the main scenario is done. We're going to start with the main game, Letter from Silent Heaven. There are difficulty levels for action and riddle. We're going to do normal for both. We'll probably take a look at hard for both as well at some point, but we're going to start with norm with normal. I think that's probably fine. We're going to take yeah, I should mention we're going to take a very relaxed attitudes towards this. This is not going to be a speed run. No, no. This is going to be well, I should say this is a short game. We're actually going to be playing through it twice. The first time round, what we're doing now is going to be a very slow just amble through the town looking at the, at the stores, looking at the sites, checking out the maps, and just, you know, fig seeing uh, what we can see. The second playthrough will be much faster, but the first one is just going to be, you know, going to take our time. No need to rush. There, the, everyone's going to be there. All the monsters are going to be there. No one's going anywhere. We're just going to take our time.
Mary, could you really be in this town? For a lot of people, they stayed here for a little bit because they didn't realize that the game had now begun. It looked very good at the time it came out. They're like, oh, cutscene's over. Time to start the game. We start off in an extremely dirty restroom. Why is everything in Silent Hill so dirty? The horror hasn't even started yet. Yeah, we're in the most horrible place of, of all. This filthy, filthy public restroom. If we go over here, James is looking at something. He's looking at something blue on the floor. That wouldn't be there if we were playing this for the first time. It's there now. But since that wouldn't have been there, I'm not going to pick that up. We'll pick it up some other time. Let's ignore that. Let's just leave. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? James is a protagonist with a problem. Harry had a much more straightforward quest in his game. He had to find his daughter. He was sure about that. James, he got this... Oh, well, here's a photo of Mary. Let's look at it. Oh, happier times when she was healthy and alive. James got this letter from Mary after she died. Like three years after she died. Saying that she's here in Silent Hill waiting for James... So James has got a problem. He is driven to Silent Hill because he has to know where this letter came from. Mary's dead. It couldn't have come from her. So what's he looking for? He doesn't know. Here's James's car. It, like the rest of things in Silent Hill, is old and dilapidated. This car does seem a little too old even for the time period the game takes place in. Let's, hit, let's get the map. He brought this with him. So James is a little bit more prepared than Harry was. He brought a map of the town. All right, there we are, observation deck. He says that Rosewater Park was a special place for him and Mary because when they went here on vacation, uh, he doesn't know if that's where Mary might be. Well, she couldn't because she's dead, but maybe, maybe she's there. We can zoom out and see the entirety of the town. Well, the entirety of the town that we will see in this game. And you might notice that this looks very different from the town in Silent Hill 1. That's because the part in Silent Hill 1 was to the north of 
this area. I tried to... I, tr I tried to take the map from Silent Hill 1 and superimpose it on that. It, it's probably not the scale, but there is actually a little bit of the map from Silent Hill 1 at the top of the Silent Hill 2 map. Well, you get the idea. Uh, that's You see where Harry was running around, and you see where James is going to be running around. These places do not intersect, so we are seeing just a completely new part of the town that was not in the first game. Okay. So even though James and Harry's stories are different, and even though they're in different parts of the town, both of them have good memories of taking vacations in Silent Hill with wives who are not alive anymore. It's kind of a trend. However, one thing that is different is Harry... No, James did not pick up any babies when he was here. That one we're sure about. Absolutely. There's nothing else in this car. However, when you think about it, looking for a person who was dead seems kind of silly. So what if James just decided to run on out of town? No, he can't do that. No point in going back. Gotta head forward. What if we went this way? And James runs right into the fence that stops him from leaving. The fence that represents his inner demons and the pa his tortured past involving his dying wife. It's probably what it symbolizes. Maybe. I mean, it's, good, it's as good of a guess as anything. The road is blocked by this fence that says, We come. I'm not sure how this is welcoming. It doesn't look welcoming at all. So the road is blocked off here. Actually, I should go. Actually, can I use this? Yeah. So the PC version has a cursor. It's a bloody knife. Anyway, so we can't take this road. It's blocked off for reasons. We're going to have to take this uh, scenic route. We have to leave the car and we have to walk. I'm not really sure how Brahms is 26.5 miles away, but old Silent Hill is 50. How is Brahms closer? Anyway, here's Toluca Lake. It's this way. Let's head down. We hear the growling of some dogs. Dogs were a common enemy in the first game, but if any attack James now would be a problem, he doesn't have any weapons. He can't just slap the dogs with the photo of Mary. That'd be disrespectful. We found a well. There's just like a red square in there. There's something in there. What is it? Makes me feel like my brain is getting groped. How weird. It's a save point. So, in the first game, the save point was were notepads and Harry would write down his thoughts. It was sort of like a practical representation of a save point. In this game, those save points are just red squares. Just red squares. I hope I have enough memory for multiple saves. It's getting a little tight. By the way, you can just save anywhere. That's something you can do in the PC version. In the console version, you go to those save points. Uh, we don't actually have to do that. Whoop. Camera is... M wants to be over here, but I wanted to be over here. There we go. James has arrived in a very foggy, very empty graveyard. Except for one person. There's one person who's looking at some graves. Why don't we talk to them?
Excuse me, I... <gasps> Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying! No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Who... who... who is it? Someone... very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I... I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Alright, well, we're all looking for someone. We could look at these graves, but there wouldn't actually be any text on them that we can read. We could go talk to her again. Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. Wait. Yeah, I am looking for someone. Thanks for reminding me. Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. I believe she can say something else. Let me try that again. Try it one more time. Aren't you looking for yeah, someone? It's the same thing. That's right. There's another interaction where James says, wow, it sure is quiet around here. And she says, I guess? But it looks like they're not saying it. This graveyard is next to a body of water. You can see that it's actually by this enormous lake, Toluca Lake. And if we were able to follow the edge of this lake, we would get to Rosewater Park. That's where it is, but... We cannot do that. We have to follow the road. So one thing that clearly got a big enhancement from the first game to the second is the fog. In the first game, the fog effect is very simple and is there to mask the uh, lack of draw distance. This game, they really did a lot with this very cloudy, voluminous fog effect. There's a chainsaw in this log. If this was the first time I was playing the game, that chainsaw would not be there. So I'm going to ignore it. Maybe some other time. We do have a long run to go. We're on the outskirts of town. And normally someone would just take their car to get to where we're trying to go to. But the road is blocked off. So we have to take this way. You know, James said that he has great memories of visiting this town with his wife. And Harry, Harry in the first game, also came to Silent Hill for vacations. I would like to see more of that side of the town. The side of the town where it's this, like, really nice tourist spot. And you get, like, a little bit of horror as well. But mostly, like, a really nice sunny tourist spot. I just, I'd like to see that part of it. Alright, we're going... 
underneath this, uh, either over or underneath Nathan Avenue onto Wilt Street. Everything's very messy and dirty. Again, we haven't even started the horror, and everything is a big mess already. We're running along... You know, I'm not not sure if this is a road. It's too thin to be a road, but there's like a road sign right there. This is like definitely a one-way road. You couldn't have two vehicles passing each other on this. It's way too thin. Also, there's like there's like a sheer drop and like some parts here with no barricade. That seems unsafe. It's a little bit similar to the road that Harry crashed off of in the first game, but um, obviously not the same place. He's way far further north of this. His crash site. Road construction ahead. All right, this is blocked off. Keep out. I'm going to have to go this way. Yep, left turn coming up. Thanks, sign. Well, we cannot go into the road runner. It's just the road runner. I cannot go through there. Is it, on, it is not on the map, so I don't know what kind of establishment the Roadrunner is. Maybe it's like a bar. But we cannot get in there. And this just... Uh, this doesn't make sense right here. There's a, a road sign facing the other way as if a vehicle would come in this way. Clearly there's not enough room. Someone really screwed that up. Silent Hill Farms. Gonna get some fresh milk and eggs. James can't wait. There's a flower shop across the street. Flowers celebrating 70 years. Well, unfortunately, we cannot help them celebrate their 70th anniversary. But we can take their first aid kit. Everything's blocked off. We can't go. It's the way of Silent Hill that many of the roads and streets and bad avenues will be blocked off. Or just maybe huge chasms carved out of them. It happens. We can go in this parking lot. I don't think there's anything here. The camera does zoom in, but I don't see anything in this parking lot. I don't think we can open that. No, we cannot. Might as well follow it, is what... A not very wise person would say, of course we're going to go the other way. I mean, in the first game, Harry saw Cheryl in the mist, so of course he followed her. But we don't have any reason to follow whatever that was. Anyway, this road is blocked by this. You ever seen a wall that looks like this? Just blocking a road? Because I have not. This is blocked off. What do we have here? Hold on. Genuine optical. Maybe, uh, no. Oh, we can get a health drink here. But they're not open. Unfortunately, when the fog is out, no one's open. That shadow bothers me. What was that? I better go follow it. Well, James is, James is a man on a mission, and not even... Not even Gonzalez's Mexican restaurant can tempt James away from that shadow. It's open seven days a week. And in fact, with HD, we can see that it's not just open. But on the door, it's Mexican open. I don't know what the difference is between Mexican open is and normal open. And any other kind of open. But not even that is going to deter James Sunderland. What do we got here? We got Welcome. Uh, I'm trying, um, no, this is just part of Gonzalez's Mexican restaurant.
Look at the establishments around here. Got some houses. But it looks like we're coming up on Cafe Texan. There we go. Cafe Texan. A fierce competitor of Gonzalez. Oh, look at this. How could anyone get past this? It's too much. Like, we could do that since we're on the way to Rosewater Park, but... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We're not doing that. How could anyone a ask this of us? Here's blood. So whatever it was is leaving, leaving a trail of blood, but we have establishments to check out. H-A-Y. Stands for... Hey, I don't know why it's called that. Solid Auto Truck Repair. Not really... Well, it's going that way. So, of course, we wouldn't want to go that way. Once again, it's just being wise is what's, what's that's called. Oh, well, this is one of the scenic sites that Silent Hill is known for. Just horrific negligence of road maintenance. Can't make it to the park this way. Yep, that is X'd off. We could have gone to Nathan Avenue and headed to the park, but mm, no. No, that's not happening. That's not happening. Like how you can see, like, part of the building has been torn off there. Well, it seems like maybe we have to go down here. What's that? Solid coup. Metal products. Speaking of metal products, James could probably use a weapon. There's a safe point. I don't think we need it right now, but we do need this health drink. We're going to be picking up so many health drinks by the FPC. Now we're kind of going onto a dirt road. That thing didn't look like it was moving very fast, but oh, sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to go that fast. 5M no more than that. I think it says girls, 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 but it's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. There's only one thing to do with this. Oh, get vomited on. That's un just unpleasant, sir. Please. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. Well, I guess that's enough of that. Oh, there's a dead body here. Dead. Could it have been that creature? What's going on in this town? James is starting to think that maybe not everything is on the up and up. Anyway, there's a fence. We can go no further. We cannot get onto Nathan Avenue. Another path blocked. It's like this town was constructed to prevent us from getting to the park. Oh, yeah. This thing broken? What the? I'd better take it anyway. I might need it.
Mm, what is going on with this radio? Well, we're going to take that with us. Small portable radio. We can turn it off if we want, but why would we want? Wooden plank with nails on one end. Not very powerful, but it is easy to use. Well, now we have to go back because we just reached a dead end. And we're leaving bloody footprints behind us. Evidence of our violence. But it was justified violence, right? Nothing we could have done about that. I mean, he vomited acid on us. It's just not done. But uh-oh. There's more of them now, walking around. Fortunately, they are extremely slow. And we have a lot of space. A little monument right here. Let's take a look at it. Something's written on it. We can't read it because the surface has been rubbed away. We can read part of it. Remains of swamp. The Urs of land surround his monument was originally swamp, but was later fill. Fring ago, tis nicknamed Blood Swamp, because the Urs poured the Wat said to wash the exiles in here. Perhaps it's faux hat, many people to have said in the area. You know, Silent Hill really should take better care of its monuments. They're there for remembrance. Also, someone cut this. That's a good thing because James... There's no way James could have gotten past that. It was beyond him. What storefronts do we have? We got Cafe Texan, as we already saw. I don't need to do that. We got... Uh, anything? No names there. Sir, please. What's this way? We've got Cafe Mist over here. Oh, well, this is just a little alley. No storefronts down here. Nope, oh, we're looking at something. Pick up that health drink. Well, if we turned, what is that, to our left, should be back to where we started from. Magical envelopes. Oh, man. With a name like that, how could you go with the competition for your envelope needs? Yeah, here's Gonzalez's. Okay. This is where we turned around because we needed to know what that shadow was all about. Well, now we know. I don't know if that helps out James any, but we know about it now. Absolutely no something in driveway. Oh, here's the Silent Hill Post Office. I mean, there actually was a post office in Silent Hill 1, but I guess, you know, different branches. Happy Burger. Oh man, James could really go for one of their famous 99 cent burger meals. Unfortunately, it is closed. We cannot get in. There is a first aid kit over here, though. Someone just dropped it on their way to, happy, on their way to the Happy Burger. Another unfortunate thing is that they have a full menu right here. It is too low res to see. I cannot see what they have available. But we could see that their entire menu is right there. Mm, memories of Happy Burger. We went here so many times with Mary. Let's see. Uh, let me keep going down here because we haven't been down here yet. Kent Shoes? I mean, you're going to need some new shoes when you're running around all Silent Hill like this. You're going to wear these shoes out. Here's another strange wall. We're going to X that out. So, newspapers in these windows. The universal sign of this is out of business. Here's an old looking diner. I like diners that look like this. Have a real old charm to them.
Here's an RV. That door is suspiciously open. And we can go inside. There's something on the table there. It's a spray can. It would not be there our first time through the game. So I'm not going to pick that up. Memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at bar Neely's. We're going to open up our map and put a circle around Neely's bar. And we need to, need to decide what it's called. Bar Neely's or Neely's bar. Save point. We're not going to do that, however. I mean, we've seen nicer RVs. Quint and Richard had much nicer ones. This is, you know, mediocre when it comes to RVs. Can't go through here. What's that? Uh, what is that? What does that sign say? It says, uh, accurate fabrication welding. Your fabrication welding needs. Excuse, please. I did say we'd be waiting at Barn Neely's. We should probably go there. I like how the stoplights are still working. Like, nothing else is, but the lights still are. We can't actually go into the main entrance for some reason. But, we can go in this one. There was a hole here. It's gone now. I like that phrase. I mean, it's a, it's a well-known phrase from the game. But it's always, it's a very neat phrase because you, you think about that for a bit. Like, what does that, what does that mean? No, what does it mean? Silent Hill 4 tries to fill in some gaps on that. Here's a map. Anyway, it's someone else's map. It's very dirty. There's some points on it that we don't have on our map. Do I have the mouse cursor? No, the cursor is not working on this screen. But we can see in the lower left-hand corner there's a circle. That's where the motorhome was. Then Neely's bar is circled. Uh, then on Merlin, Mar Martin Street, not Merlin, but Martin Street, there's a question mark. But most importantly, there's a line, an arrow, going from Rosewater Park through the apartments, Woodside Apartment. So in indicating that we could get to Rosewater Park by going through those apartments. So we probably should do that. However, we probably also should go to Martin Street first because it's marked with a, with a question mark. What's that symbol at the end of Martin Street? What is that? Maybe we should put a question mark on our map and circle Woodside Apartment. We copied it. What could it be? Oh, what do we have here? Superstore. It's for baby gifts. An entire superstore for baby we got rose clothing. We got auto parts. I mean, you're, you're going to need to repair your car in Silent Hill, even though our protagonists never do that because nothing actually works in Silent Hill. American Cafe and Caterer. Got any other storefronts here? Big J's. What do they sell at Big J's? Might be a clothing store. It's kind of hard to tell. Fancy gifts. Let me in there. I want to know what fancy gifts they have for sale. Or we could go to T's Italian Restaurant. I like Italian. What does T have to offer? But we can't tell. It's all closed. Here's accurate fabricating and welding. Okay, we're almost there. Custom fabrication, body mo body modification, uh, generic parts, I think is what that says. Oh, you hear that like squeaky sound? That means a giant roach. They were in the first game. Big roaches. Those guys move much faster when they're crawling. All right, what does the question mark represent? Hey, we found a dead body that looks like us. At least it's dressed like us. We got its key. James does not appear to have any comment about the dead body that's dressed like him. But we got his key. We should take a look at that key. 
Ah, Mary. It's an apartment key. Old looking key that we found in town. It says Woodside Apartment on that. And that's what we circled on the map. We did circle Woodside Apartment. Which is, yep, down here, heading right towards it. Did we try to go up? Yeah, okay. We, tr we, w we did go up by the pet center. And we did see that that road was, cr was cu uh, cut off, I think. Because we did, draw we did draw it down on our map. Just wanted to make sure. But we haven't been to Lucky Jade Restaurant. It actually is lucky, because there's like a first aid kit. And also, what's luckier than handgun bullets? We don't even have a handgun. We got bullets. All right, here are the Woodside Apartments. I can unlock this, but before we go in... Let's take a look what's at the end of here. The door that wakes in dark wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Hey, ps brooch, please. I'm reading the sign. That sounds like a bad door. You wouldn't want to go through that door. But it's locked, so it doesn't really matter. You can just vomit outside. All right. So we made it to somewhere. We made it to the apartments. Fortunately, there's a map hanging right here. We got the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor of the Woodside apartment. Okay, so welcome to our first dungeon, the apartments. We have to get through the apartments to get to the park. Because all of the roads are either destroyed or blocked off. But if we can get to the back door of these apartments, we can get to that park. So that is what we're going to be doing. Let me get this health drink. And, you know, just to be on the safe side, why don't we save? There we go. I think it's about time to take a little bit of a break. Come back in a few minutes and we will tackle the Woodside Apartments. Okay, what do we have as we're going into the apartments? We have six health drinks, three first aid kits, ten handgun bolts with no gun. We got the plank, radio, ah, uh, Mary, and the letter in my restless dreams, etc., etc. Okay, let's get going. This one's locked. As is the way with Silent Hill, you might remember the first remember the first game how many doors had broken locks. Oh, we've got that. We've got that back. There are going to be so many broken locks. You won't believe it. Well, this one's actually locked, not actually broken. This one, the door's kind of gone. Well, there's no door here. This one's just locked. It's too dark to read the map. It doesn't look that dark, but we do have to actually go under this light if we want to read the map. It's a nice touch. All right, let's keep going straight ahead. Oh, over here, we got like a laundry room. It says dragon on the wall. And there's like weird trash. Strange garbage. Stuck in the hole. Well, we can't do anything about that. All right, sounds like the residents have heard us. Hello. Lock is broken. That's what I'm talking about. Door is gone. Just, some, just put cement all over that. All right, let's check out one of the apartments. Got a flashlight. Hello. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. 
just a mannequin, but these clothes. Yes, if we were to look at the photo we have here, that's what Mary was wearing. How about that? So we see like a bunch of mannequin parts here, including the one that's attacking us. There's like a sewing machine over there. So I guess it's a sewing machine, nothing special about it, but I guess whoever lives here is way into, please, ma'am, is way into uh, sewing clothes. And nothing else to pick up. Thank you for your flashlight. I appreciate it. Oh, hold on. Am I looking at something else? Maybe just the monster. I probably should make sure. Is James looking at anything? No. Okay. He was just looking at the monster. There's an item in the room. He will turn his head to look at it. I just need to make sure. Ah, uh, yeah, let's, let's head this way. Hello. Got handgun bullets. Looking at something here. More bullets. Finding so much ammo for a gun that we don't have. Here's the bathroom. Nothing to do here. James did his business before he got in the car, I guess. He's doing fine. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to interrupt, ma'am. Looks like someone knocked a door over. There's a, there's a newspaper on the ground. Nothing interesting in that newspaper, though. Well, I guess... It's a little rude because we came in here, but... I don't think there's anything else in here. Seems like we got everything. Alright. Let's head on out. These are tight hallways, so it can be hard to get past. Sometimes we just have to do it. I've never really been sure if those screams are scary or funny. I'm sorry. Oh, vomit in the face. You might notice that red cross in the corner. So the PS2 original did not have that. It represents low health. The reason the PS2 game didn't have that is because it represented low health by rumbling the controller like a heartbeat. But on the PC version, they couldn't guarantee that the player would be using a rumble-enabled controller. So... They put that little visual indicator on the screen, saying that you're low on health. Hello. Alright, so we can take this hallway up. Up. Uh, here. We haven't gone up here yet. Lock's broken. So is this one. Eliminating all these doors. This one's open. Some menacing background music, though. It's a note. Three needles stand of three different heights. The fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. <clears throat> what could it be talking about? Television. There's one thing unusual about it. Look how old this is. This is an incredibly old TV. Who would actually still be using such a thing? It's like, I think it would be actually more expensive to try to maintain something like that. Well, in here, we do have a clock. Faceplate is locked. I can't touch the needles like this. James doesn't even know why he wants to. There's writing on it. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Sure, let's push it. Or maybe not. Stuck to the ground. There is something here. 
Henry Mildred Scott. It's not too hard to figure out they represent the needles on the clock, but we can't open the clock. We can't manipulate them needles. Gonna have to look around until we find something that can open that. Here's some bars. If we could get past that, we could get to room 209 and then some stairs after it. I do like how James fills in the details of these rooms like that. Just, you know, remember, hey, the clock's in there. So I think we've gone over the uh, the second floor, or at least what we can do for the second floor at this point. Let's go up to the third floor. A lot of graffiti on these walls. The place looks like it's falling apart. Um, heavy wipe? No, heavy viper. Heavy viper. I'm just going to say, James said that Silent Hill was a great tourist spot, but this doesn't look like a great place so far. There's a key over there. Look at the shadows. Shadows like that were neat on the PS2. Let's try to pick it up. Damn it. A little girl, and James wasn't even looking for one. Harry had to search for the entire game to find one. But this one just came up and kicked that key out of James's hand. Why would she do yeah, who's that kid? I think I skipped it. Yeah, we can't reach it no how matter how far I stretch. Kid just comes out of nowhere and ambushes us. Well, alright then. Now let's turn around so we can see the doors as we come. So that's a bit of a curious thing. She seemed like she was having fun, having a good time. Doesn't seem like anyone else is. Oh, what, what we got here? Shopping cart and a gun. And if we look on the walls, wall is pocked. Okay, so if you're living in this apartment building, someone on the third floor is just like shooting the walls constantly. Like Again, I don't think this is a great building to live in. Nothing in here. Might want to get the landlord involved with this. I don't know. Maybe the police, but maybe the police are too busy investigating that whole PTV thing. Unfortunately, since that's blocked off, that's the extent of what we can examine the third floor. Like, there's more to it, but we can't get to it. So, all we can really do is just wander around now, and see if we can find anything that we might have missed. And that does mean going by this spot and hearing that someone yelled. Probably nothing. Well, that TV's on now. Oh my god. Who could have? Uh, James has found another dead body of him. That's two so far. Who could have done this? We're looking over there. We got the key to room 202. All right, so whoever did this left this key behind. You wouldn't think a dead body would shock James that much, considering what he's been seeing, but... I guess he hasn't seen, like too many actually freshly dead people. 
Anyway, whatever that was is gone now. Let's go to room 202, which is going to be down here, I think. I think it's this one. There we go. Let's find some cages. Nothing in these cages. Find some butterflies. So whoever lived here, looks like they kept butterflies. Dead butterflies on the bed and ground. Nothing else here. There's a hole in the wall. Well, it's too dark for sure, but it looks like there's something in there. So what else do you do? Neat. So when you're doing that, a neat thing is that the controller does rumble uh, as he's feeling around in there. So that's a nice little touch. Nothing in there anymore. So I'm going to say that between following the shadow and sticking his hand in the hole, that maybe James doesn't have too much of a sense of self-preservation. Here's the clock key. You can tell because it's got a little clock on it. That helps. Anyway, we know where the clock is, so let's use the clock key. <clears throat> let's see if there's anything else around. Nope, broken lock. But we are looking at something over here. We're looking at a health drink, and this sink emits a red light. That seems odd, but we can't examine it. Alright, so got the clock key. Let's go to 208, where we've just found the dead body. That's where the clock is. Hello? Okay, so we need to move these, uh, these hands. The, the uh, clock does not have a second hand, so... It has the minute and hour hand. So Henry is hour, Mildred is minute. That looks like it's saying that it wants 9.10. Or 10 after 9, however you say that. Let's use the clock key. All right, move the hands around. And there we go. So if, if the puzzle difficulty was on hard, it would be a bit more vague than this. And the puzzles can get pretty vague, especially if you get extra puzzle difficulty. Let's move this. You know, other than Silent Hill 2 and 3, I'm not, I can't remember if 4 had it, but I can't really think of many other games that have difficulty levels for the puzzles. And that door's going out. Here's a safe point. Here's a health drink. Nothing else we can do here. Let's head on out. And by doing that, we are now on the other side of these bars. And there's like a blood stain right here, so I guess that guy was just standing here, just looking all menacing. I guess that's what he was doing. All right, now we're in another stairwell on the other side of the floor. We could try going down. But it's locked. Only cardboard boxes to examine. And James doesn't care about those. He's not going to find Mary in a cardboard box. But what he will find are some handgun bullets on this banister.
Hear some menacing sounds. But never mind those for... So we see the introduction of Silent Hill's most iconic monster, the Boogeyman. We all know that's what he's really called. Well, maybe that's another game. He likes looking at these landscapes. Nice paintings. Also, you know, the mannequin monsters just left lying around. We'll just ignore those. There's something else in here we should take. Courtyard key. What does it open? It says courtyard. So there was a locked door down on the first floor. We should probably check that out. Well, we're on the other side of this gate now, and there's no little girl to kick this away from us. Got the fire escape key. It says fire escape. There was a fire escape at the far west end of the second floor hallway. So let's go use it there. First, let's go in here. Got some handgun bullets in the laundry room, which is the proper place to keep them. Don't just leave him out in the hallway. Seriously. This phone doesn't seem to work. Sir, did you contact the landlord about maintaining this phone? I have people to call. Nothing interesting in the newspaper or the magazine. James does not think too highly of the publications around here. Got handgun bullets. Oh, anything we should do in the bathroom? There is nothing we should do in the bathroom. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, anything for us in here? Well, this door was knocked down. I don't think there is anything. All right, I guess we can leave. Sir. That's just rude. The melee combat is actually pretty stiff. It's kind of weirdly stiff, more so than the first game. I don't know what it's why it's like that, honestly. Uh, let's check out these doors up here. It's not really an issue when you're using a gun. But uh, melee weapons kind of feels a little weird. Well, 
Well, this door's blocked off. We're not going to open that. And they make things easy for us, because now that just means we have to go down to the first floor. And pick up one of my favorite items in a Silent Hill game. Can juice. A heavy six-pack of expired canned juice. Well, unfortunately, we can't drink this. It's expired. I mean, it's canned, so you would think it would last a while, but I guess it must be all-natural juice. Uh, because it has expired, we cannot use it. We cannot drink it. It's heavy, so but we're just gonna take it with us. It doesn't ha it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's heavy. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so this takes us out to another entrance of the apartments on the far side. And all we can really do here is just run back to the first entrance, which we want to do because now we have the um the courtyard key. Which now can unlock the door to the courtyard over here. There we go. It does kind of loop you around. Takes you to where you need to go. What do we got out here? Well, this place has its own pool. Which, considering the state of the rest of the hotel, the apartments, I wouldn't have really expected it. But okay, everyone into the pool. Oh. Oh. Well, there is a pool party going on in here. Everyone's- everyone wiggle in the pool. I should probably heal myself. I got the coin snake. What's coin snake? Well, it's a large coin imprinted with a snake. We can examine it. That's a snake, all right. All right, let's leave them to their pool party. Didn't mean to interrupt. Odd thing about the courtyard, it's quite large. And there's not really anything else in it. Like, if you look at it on the map, it's pretty big. It takes up a lot of space. But I don't think there's really anything to do in this. Like, you can't go back here. Like, like, there's a little shed over there, and if you look at the map... It is marked as having a door, but I don't think you can actually get over there. It probably would just be a broken lock, but still, it is marked as having a door. Anyway, we got that key, uh, that coin, so let's head out. Hello. All right, got some new first floor doors to check out. This one's broken. You know, even if I know they're broken, we, sir. We have to fill out all the squiggly red lines on the map. It wouldn't be a Silent Hill game if we weren't constantly drawing red lines on our map. Well, we can hear something. It's a vomiting sound, but more human than what we've been hearing. What the? Who could have done this? There's a dead body in the fridge, which, again, I don't know why James would be so shocked about it, but there is. Let's go investigate that noise. when I got here. <coughs> my, uh, my name's James. <coughs> James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. <coughs> Eddie. <coughs> Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. <coughs> You're not friends with that red <coughs> pyramid thing, <are> you? <coughs> Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest, but I did see some weird-looking monsters. 
They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too. <coughs> Man, it just keeps coming. You'd think he'd run out at some point. We can go back in to check on him. What's going on? Eddie, are you okay? Yeah, I guess or maybe no it doesn't that doesn't work what's in here the wall is covered with football posters and meaningless graffiti we couldn't care about any of them don't care about football i guess but this says to get pro football pro football of course one word as all pro football fans are aware looking at something. We're looking at some bullets. That lock is broken. I don't think there's anything else here. Okay, so we've met Eddie. He is very upset about that dead body in the refrigerator. We don't know exactly what he's been going through, but he did say he saw some weird monsters, which of course we have been seeing. He didn't know what James was talking about, about the red pyramid thing, which granted, it's not a great description, James. I wouldn't know what he's talking about either. He could just say, did you see the guy with, like, the rusted metal helmet or and the apron? Did you see that guy? Because I don't know what Red Pyramid thing would be. There's a sightseeing brochure for the town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice, restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty, with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Widmark Everyone loves go taking vacations in Silent Hill. And then you go one time too many, and then everything turns all dark and dirty and rusty. And you think, oh no, I, I got the unlucky trip. This is the bad trip. I shouldn't have come. Um... Now it's unlocked. All right, so I think we want to head up to the second floor to get to that fire escape. Yeah, fire escape is down there by room 201. Oh, yeah, you might notice that, like, the icons go off the screen into the black space. I guess that's a glitch in this. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we wanted to yeah, go in here, back through the hole. Back in the hole, of course. There's a dead body in here, but never mind that. Oh. Before I do that, there is something else I should do. 
So, remember there's like garbage in here? It's, it's shoved in here. We don't know what to do with it. Oh, this weird garbage. It's stuck in the hole. What do you do with that? Well, we pick this up. And we can't drink it. The only thing we know about is that it's heavy. But what do you do with expired juice? I guess you just gotta throw it away. It knocked it loose. I seem to remember it took me kind of a little while to figure that out. It just wasn't striking me that the thing you do with the juice... You throw it in the garbage. I guess I should have figured it out by the fact that it was heavy and expired. Anyway, now we have to find... Oh. Uh, oh, okay. It froze for a second. I thought, was it going to crash? It's never crashed. This version has not crashed on me before. I should probably save. Just in case. Anyway, this part you have to find where the garbage comes out. So hopefully you passed by this part at some point, because now the weird garbage is here. And we got a coin. From the garbage bag that has been torn. The coin of the old man. And a gossip magazine. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his, caro his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, Ah, he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out such strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil. Forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. That's pretty specific memory. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. You might say. Anyway, Walter Sullivan. It's not important in this game. But they do expand on him in Silent Hill 4. But we don't have to worry about that right now. Anyway, let's go back up to the second floor. Now that we have the coin of the old man. So we wanted to go to the fire escape. I mean, let me check my keys. No, not that this. Yeah, I only have the fire escape key. There's no fire escape out here. There's just another building. Well, we can step through to the next apartment building. It doesn't seem safe. All right, we're in another building, and that means we don't have a map. Because this is not the Woodside apartment. We're in another apartment already. Old broken down bed. This apartment building doesn't seem like it's in any better shape than the first one. And you know what you hate? When someone doesn't flush the toilet and they just leave it for the next person to deal with? Fortunately, James loves that. There's something stuck in there. Hell yes. James has no shame or sense of self-preservation. There's a memo in here. Um, hold on a second. I should probably, like, Write that down for myself. Hold on. Eleven. Right. Eight. Left. One. Right. Ten. Just write that down. All right. So why do we have that? Well, we can go out here. And there just happens to be a safe out here. They left their combination written down. So, let's see. Let's find 11. That's where we're starting from. 
and then and then eight and then one and then ten it's harder on harder puzzle difficulties what's inside so much ammo bullets 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 he's hoarding these bullets you know just in case Newspaper on the ground. It looks like it's from a long ago. Get that health drink. Lock is broken. Didn't actually need to kill that guy, I guess. Don't worry, even though we don't have a map, James will still be writing down the red squiggly lines signifying that we can't get through these doors when we find a map. He will write them down. I don't think there's anything in this locker room. This door's kind of wrapped in canvas. This has a note on it. Note stuck to the door. Dear Tim, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. First floor staircase. We should remember that. Sounds like it's saying honk. I know it's not. Anyway, can't go through there. This is locked. But it sounds like someone's on the other side of that. No, it is locked. Still no map. That's right. We have not found a map. We have to just remember all these red squiggly lines that we're going to draw down. Fortunately, there is a map right here. We'll pick that up. All right, up to the third floor. Except no, no third floor for us. It's blocked with garbage. Down to the first floor. And that's the sound of roaches. That's what the sound they make. Uh oh, I'm getting hurt. Let me drink a drink a health drink, which of course is what helps with the roach bites. Oh, and you might have noticed, just like with Silent Hill 1, the stomp when they're down is still the most powerful of moves. Just kills anything. Did I try going in there? Uh, no. I haven't tried this one. All right. Oh. So the thing on the counter there is kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to tell what that is. You might think it's a health drink. It is not. That would not be there if this was my first run through. So I will not pick it up now. We will eventually. It has to do with an ending. There's a desk here with a puzzle. Three bright coins and five holes be. At one end since the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one null lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent since not. Tis the prisoner's left that he doth rot. There are five holes. For three coins. So three coins are needed. We have two. Three coins, two empty slots. Nothing in the bookshelf is of use. We need to find one more coin. Here's a safe spot. Eh, you know, might as well. No point in putting our coins in now until we find that third coin. No. There is a first aid kit in here, isn't there? Yes, there is.
And this door is a little bit different from the other doors we've been seeing. It's all white. It looks different from the rest of the apartments. Let's go inside. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. <sighs> Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Angela's going through a lot. I mean, basically everyone in Silent Hill is, but Angela seems to be going through it more intensely. I do kind of like how this scene starts off with Angela deep in her depression until we get to the point where James mentions that the person he's looking for is dead. Then she gets up and it's like, oh, I, oh, geez, I need to go. I'll just, I'll just go now. There's a coin on the desk. We, well dresser we got coin prisoner large coin imprinted with an image of a prisoner a prisoner looks like a woman we also oh, hold on we also got this knife from angela i don't plan on using this as a weapon it's true we cannot equip it as a weapon but we can look at it we can just stare at it the blade is already stained with something red so we can just look at that Eh, does it do anything? Mm, well, you know, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. 
large mirror here. Nothing unusual. Painting is displayed here. Nothing of particular interest. Yep, a painting of a map of the U.S. James is not interested in, in this particular painting. Well, I don't think there's anything else in this room. Doesn't seem like it. But the important thing is that we now have three coins. Uh, we could take a look at the doors to our left. Why not? So, Angela, who is looking for her mother, or her mama, looks like her path is taking her on the same way that James is, because she started off in the graveyard, which James was in. Please, Roach, please. And somehow she worked her way to the apartment building the same way James did. We don't know where Eddie came from, but he's in the apartment building, too. He didn't say he was looking for anyone, though. Um, oh. This one. That's the one we just did. We wanted... Was it 105? Yeah, here's this. All right. So let's look at that riddle again. We got five holes, three coins to put in them. Three bright coins and five holes B. At one end, says the seducer of she, which is going to be the snake. You know, it's all biblical. So the snake is going to be either on the left or the right. The, women, the wind from behind the woman doth play. So on one side of the woman is going to be an empty slot. The formless one, Noel, lies furthest from they, so an empty slot is going to be the furthest from the coins we just mentioned. The old one beside the serpent sits not. Do not put the old man by the serpent. Tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Put the old man to the left of the prisoner. Okay. So, let's get out our coins. I'm going to start with the snake. It said that the snake is on one end, so left or right. I'm going to put him on the right. The prisoner. So, can't be here, because we know that the wind plays on one side of the prisoner. So if we put the prisoner here, it's next to the serpent, and we know the old man would go to the left of the prisoner... Can't go here. We could put the prisoner here, because then the old man would go here, and this would be empty. If we put the prisoner here, the old man would have to go here, and that can't be right, because the formless one, Null, has to be on one end. So it seems like the prisoner has to be in the middle. One more coin. Old man is easy. It specifically says the old man is to the left of the prisoner. And there we go. We got the Lin House key. This puzzle is a lot harder on the hard difficulty, as they all are, pretty much. Examine this. Left with Uncle David. All right, so we want to go up to the second floor and uh, go to the door that had the note on it. It's over here. We've entered the ASMR room. Only for a moment. Only a little bit. Only need, only need a little bit to get those tingles. Well, we can't find too much in the room. However, unlike these other rooms, this door is open. He's out to this balcony. We got some stuff in here. Handgun bullets. Nothing of any use over here. But over here, we got the apartment stairway key. Anything else? Paintings displayed here. He's not interested. There's nothing in this closet. Lock's broken. Can't do it. It's important to save here. Because my um, messing around could easily lead to me dying soon. 
I should, so I should save right there. We got this. North stairway. Actually, that says north side stairway, but you know, that's fine. All right, so north side stairway. There's really only one door left that's been locked that we haven't been able to open. And it's this. Remember this? We tried to open this, and then we heard someone rattling the door like someone was behind it. Let's unlock it. Unfortunately, we're now locked in here with the man with the unlikely head. Oh, he got me with his knife. Let me just do that. So he starts off with swinging his big old great knife with one hand like that. It does some damage. I'm going to equip my gun. Not the most damage, but it does some. He'll change that. I can't go down here to escape. It's full of water, and of course we cannot walk underwater. Also, this door is locked. I can shoot him. But I'm only shooting him in the helmet. I don't know why James is shooting him in the helmet. James, do not shoot him in the metal helmet. Okay, now he's doing a one-handed overhead swing. If that hits me, it will kill me in one hit. So we have to avoid it. Fortunately, our gunshots do slow him down. And we hear a siren go off, summoning Pyramid Head away. We could try to follow him. But look out. Oh, he will try to get you with one more hit. Actually, not just one more. He'll, yep. He'll go for it again if you get too close. And that will, yes, that will kill you in one hit, even if you've beaten him. He is no problem walking underwater. Let's follow him. That seems like a good idea. Well, we can, but he's nowhere to be seen as we reach the bottom. What is to be found is an exit. We've made it out of the apartments. So, you remember what we were doing, right? We were trying to get to Rosewater Park here. It's easy to forget that because you spend kind of some time in the apartments and you kind of forget what the point of it was. But the idea was we were trying to get to the other side of these apartments. And now we have and now we are right next to Rosewater Park, which is our objective. It's where James thinks Mary might be waiting, except she's dead. So she couldn't be waiting. But maybe she is, except she couldn't. But maybe it could be the special place. But for right now, you're going to save. And with that, I am, I'm I am going to have to say good night for tonight. We're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Silent Hill 2 with going to Rosewater Park, finding whatever might be waiting there. And then we'll see what happens. James doesn't know what's going to happen, neither which neither should we. All we need all we need to know is that our current goal or objective is to reach that park. So have a good night. We're going to be continuing on with more Silent Hill 2, more adventures of James Sunderland as he's cracking jokes and making witty observations down the streets of Silent Hill. I'll see you next time.